these students chanting solidarity songs at the entrance of Channel's television headquarters are from the Obafemi Awolowo University, Idefe. <laughs> Following the latest announcement by ASU to extend its ongoing strike, they are calling on the federal government to urgently address the incessant closure of schools. We, we have plans. We are the future of this country. We shouldn't be treated this way. And can they do this to their children? Because they are not in this country. We are suffering from the, from the devastation that they've committed and everything that, they, that is going the backward in this country. So we are the receiving hand. They warn that failure of the federal government to address these issues raised by ASU will lead to mass protests across the country. We cannot continue like this. And that's why we've deemed it fit to come out to register our grievances against the federal government. And this is serving as a warning to them that if, as a matter of fact, they cannot attend to the ASU strike, we are going to come out in mass and we shut down every political activities in the country because we are tired. The same message is coming from the University of Lagos. Here, the ASU chairman of the institution's chapter says three months of staying at home is already a major setback, and this extension will only make things worse for their education. I really, I really feel sad because these issues have remained the same in the last 13 years. In Edo State, students are also protesting against the ongoing ASU strike, barricading a section of the road near Benin Airport. They also took their demands to the State Secretariat of the Nigeria Union of Journalists Press Center, where the state chairman of the union echoed their appeal for a resolution to be reached so that the students can return to school. We have the opinion very strongly that the federal government of Nigeria and the academic staff union of universities in Nigeria should immediately return back to the negotiation table and resolve the impasse. We want our young ones to return to the classroom. The students maintain that no education means no election. A threat they expect the federal government to take as seriously as the situation they say has become unbearable. Indeed, when you see those students, you can't but identify with them. You know, sharing their pain, three months of being at home is not fun at all. And not all of them have been able to find positive engagement at this critical time. And perhaps that's the reason that the National Association of Nigerian Students has said that the federal government effort is dissatisfactory, that it is a total war. So tempers are high, not just with ASU, but also with the National Association of Nigerian Students. And this is where we're headed as we welcome Comrade Victor Izenagu, the National Public Relations Officer, National Association of Nigerian students who's joining us from our Abuja studio. Welcome, Comrade Ezenagu. Uh, good morning. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you. And Nans is saying that uh, it's declaring national action in response to this extension of the strike. Tell us what this uh, or how this uh, national action will be implemented. Okay. Thank you so much. We are poised at ensuring that our campuses are reopened. As such, the ultimate man instruction has gone out to all the 36 states and FCT, calling on all our structures to begin immediately, starting from today, by barricading and blocking every federal road, every road leading to the airport, and ensuring they remain on the street at least three hours every day until the federal government does something as regards to settling their impasse with ASU. 
for us to return back to our, our campuses. Uh, and we shall any... also continue in Go our ahead. meeting that is coming up this weekend. We have a convention slash Senate meeting where we are going to take a final decision on how to storm and ensure, like we're not, we're not joking, by the statement that we've given out, telling the government and the ruling class, the political class in Nigeria that there shall be no primaries, there shall be no political activities if our future is not resolved, if our future is not decided well, if the issue concerning the Nigerian students is not resolved. Because we can't be talking about next election, we should be talking about next generation. If we, if, if we are only concerned about elections, then what happens to the next generation? Education is the only thing that can ensure and ascertain the next generation on existence of Nigeria and making Nigeria a better place. As such, we cannot sit back and watch our fathers who are in their, almost in their dying age to sit and toy with our future. We will not allow that. There shall be no primary, there shall be no political activities in Nigeria except the ASU strike is resolved. Thank is you. there, are you concerned, comrade, is your association, the executive, the leadership of NANS, concerned about the possibility of this issue being, um, should I use the word hijacked? Because, I mean, historically, when students uh, raise their voices against an issue, uh, you know, expressing their displeasure, over the years, uh, it usually doesn't end the way even the students themselves want it to end. So is there a, a, a way of protecting the, the, this campaign to ensure that it doesn't get out of hand? Is there, have you, has Nance in any way informed or involved the police or any security apparatus to ensure protection of uh, lives and property? We will always uh, write officially to the security agents, agencies to inform them about our mass action. Either we don't write, if either we write officially or we we'll do a broadcast the way we're doing now to inform them that we're going, or we're going for a mass action. Moreover, I think if our country, our government is concerned about the mass action not being hijacked, I think what they should do is to be responsive by living up to the expectation. We've been very calm all this while. We've obeyed our 3C mantra. Consultation, consolidation before confrontation. And even in the confrontation, we've been very peaceful. Our last mass action was peaceful, well coordinated because we are leadership. This, our current, the current leadership of NANS, every led by Comrade Sonja Adidaya Ashefo, the NANS president, and the Senate president, Comrade Shuksa Okafo. We've been able to manage both the executive and the, and the Senate arm very well in ensuring peace in all that all we do. But if the government decides to look otherwise, you see, are, they, they, it will get to a time when you tell the student, follow this way, follow this way, and it might happen otherwise, then it's the fault of the government. It becomes the fault of the government. But from our own side as leadership, we'll ensure we put in place maximum control for peace, for the protest to be peaceful. Thank you. Comrade, um, your Operation Test Run protests also seeks to stop all political activities from um, taking place. Well, um, I, I wonder how that will happen because um, whilst your constitutional right to uh, assemble and protest is granted, uh, the politicians also have a right to uh, proceed with their activities. Isn't this um, a bit... Um, a bit of a call to disorder. I don't want to uh, say that it's courting anarchy. You see, uh, you, everyone will have a view, their own view as regards to this. But the truth is that if your house is on fire, you don't go hunting. Anybody who, whose house is on fire does not go to hunt games. We can't be talking about our future and politicians are gathering. What are they gathering for? What is politics all about? Politics is all about ensuring the welfare and well-being of the people, of the citizens. So we can't be talking about, we can't be at home and people are gathering. Then who are they gathering for? What are they gathering to do? To come and take power? 
to come and, become, to come and uh, uh, rule over us? No, no. We can't accept that. So the, first, the thing is, first thing first, we must resolve the issue of ASU for us to go back to campuses. Hmm. Else, there is no need for any, 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 any political gathering. Uh, no. Politics is not their private business. Politics is all about Nigeria. And it's all about, it's our, it's our collective business. So we cannot allow that to stand. Thank you. Speaking of resolution, uh, do you think that the approach of ASU to doing things uh, should also change? What, what do you think ASU should do differently? I see, I, I am not to talk for ASU. I cannot be talking about what ASU, ASU should do. All I know is, all I can say from our leadership is that, what we can say is that both federal government and ASU, the striking union, should understand that when it, come from, when it comes to negotiation, there is need for both parties to shift ground for there to be uh, a positive resolution. So that is what we're asking the, both of them. But the federal government and ASU should shift their grounds so that there will be a, a way forward, a positive way forward as regards to their impasse. There are, there are a couple of uh, other bodies that uh, may not have been significantly factored into this conversation, comrade. Uh, one of them is the management of the universities um, and then the states, the, the state governments where they have state universities. But let's begin with the university management. Is NANS, are students satisfied with the way the students, the, the management of the universities have managed their affairs over time? Because there are those who wonder maybe if the management of the universities have been up and about doing what is expected of them, maybe you know, they would have been able to address this uh, you know, situation. It wouldn't get as bad because ultimately it's about the students, isn't it? So is Nance satisfied with the way the university management manages their affairs in the light of all the issues that ASU is raising? We cannot say we're satisfied because if we're, if we're saying we're satisfied, then if we're satisfied, then there shouldn't be issues. So for the fact there are issues, there is no satisfaction. I think I will, I will only say that the management of universities should also improve in, in the ways of managing the affairs of the university so that issues will not come up. Issues like this will not come up. That's all I can say on that. Are, are you saying that uh, the management of the universities are in any way complicit in the issues that ASU is raising? If are you saying the, that if, the, if everybody, if all parties are, if all parties are doing well, there won't be issues. Okay. If all parties are doing well, both management of universities, who are by extension the government, if all are doing well, then there won't be issues. Okay. How about the state so managed universities? It means for there to be issues, it means all is not well. How about this, these universities that are owned by the state? There are some of them that say, you know, uh, the responsibilities that uh, they, they have, they are directly, that affect the states. And it would seem like no one is talking to the state governments who own these, un these universities. Is there anything that you think the states could have done or should, can do themselves so that this, at least state-owned universities can return to school? Uh, in, that, in that line, in that regards, I think I will, I will say that the state governments should also step up their game by increasing their subventions to the, to the state-owned universities. And then perhaps a possible review of, uh, of the, of the uh, staff's welfare in the state-owned institutions so that they can return to campuses. Do you, do, just one second, do, do you think that it would help if state governments who have universities uh, sat down with the Federal Ministry of Education in order to resolve the issues together, because at least they are both university owners. 
it will assist. It will assist, definitely. It will assist. All we want is a solution, a possible solution that will return our students back to, our class, to their classes, or a, a solution that will end this whole hassle thing that has always been there. In fact, before some of us uh, started our secondary education, there was ASU, ASU strike and ASU uh, impasse with the government. So all we need is any party or any, uh, any organization that will come on board that will help to resolve it and then bring a lasting solution. That's all we're interested in. Now, uh, comrade, just before we let you go, uh, I'd like to process your operation test run protests against the backdrop of the outlook to NANS. Um, it was expressed at the start of the program that NANS is not as formidable as it was in the past when former presidents, generals at the time, you know, lived in fear of ASU. Um, what do you say to the view that uh, in fear of NANS, rather. What do you say to the view that NANS is not as formidable as it used to be, is not as forceful, and would perhaps not be able to achieve much with its um, Operation Test Run protest? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, NANS is formidable. In the past, we had less students from Nigerian origin going to school, school abroad. In the past, we have less parents who send their kids abroad. Most of the sabotage we get now are from the ruling class because their children are not here. Those ones that their children are here, when we call for a, a mass action, they use them to sabotage. Some of them will use their relatives who are part of us to do divide and rule. But yet, we're not deterred. They, they have all, all arsenal at their, at their comfort to do a divide and rule on us, but we've, we're not deterred. We are formidable. We are coming to shock Nigeria. We are coming to shock Nigerians. We are coming to shock the government. We are coming to shock everybody if this issue is not resolved. You see, I, don't, I wouldn't want to say much, but let's see, let it, let's see it play out. Let's see it play out. When it plays out, people will blame themselves. People will say, if we had known, we would have resolved this earlier. Let's see it play out. That's all I can say now. Indeed, <laughs> you're coming to shock Nigerians, and we hope that to be eventually pleasantly surprised, and we hope that uh, the process is not hijacked and doesn't turn violent in the interest of peace. Comrade um, Victor Izenago, National Public Relations Officer, National Association of Nigerian Students, thank you for joining us on Sunrise this morning. Thank you.